Hey, so this is going to be a uh, energy read with a full Celtic cross finish. So if you like it, please do like it and uh, subscribe too. That'd be great. Thanks so much. Bye. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, so we'll do a, a full uh, an energy read for you today, so sit back and relax, uh, take your shoes off, and uh, and then we'll finish it with a full Celtic cross and uh, see what uh, the cards have in store for us, okay? So, here we go. So, Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters, and uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow, Joe Lee, uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very interesting person, and uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him, um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well at the Clown College here. Uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life, and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing. And if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and fun 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 to look at so you know i do this so that you can have a look at these cards uh and, you know if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time and uh, i think it's just you're missing out on a lot so you know this uh Le Grand, uh circus sideshow tarot i love using these these cards are great i love these uh, circus uh, tarot Joe Lee is a genius. But uh, let's do a full energy read for everybody today. Let's see what this day has in store for us. Let's see what sort of uh, vibes are heading around and how we can best uh, use that to our advantage. What the cards suggest are important um, highlights for this day. And in the meantime, what you can do is just relax Take a deep breath, let it out slow. Close your eyes. Think about what you need to get accomplished from this point uh, forward till you um, call it a day and see if this energy uh, brings anything out for you. Spread these cards. And take six right off the top. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Save these over to the side here. And then see what the cards have in store for us today. Signifier card for us this day is the ten. Ten of what? Ten of Pentacles, right there. Ten of Pentacles, right across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. And so the Ten of Pentacles is just like the card shows, is happy family. So everybody's gathered up here. They're ready for a good time. And this looks like it's actually the um, the visiting family or the circus family. I would say this is the visiting family. Yeah. So this is nice. Uh, everything that you want. So let's take a deep breath and realize that whatever we've got, we're in happy family at this moment. Uh, the challenge to that then is the Knight of Cups 
So this is the guy who's really taking things seriously. You know, you give him a, a, a chalice of cup, a chalice of a passion, compassion, and emotion, uh, he's going to hold on to it. And he's going to bring it back to you without having spilled a drop. And, um, and he's going to uh, make sure that the mission is accomplished. So the challenge to happy family is this night full of emotion. This is a high wire act. And this is a, um, our life, in fact, is a high wire act. And so uh, our happy family uh, is challenged by, the, uh, by trying to keep balanced on that and not to hurt anyone's feelings. The base of this, then, is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is typically, you know, you know, walking away from something of value. And so that's what this fellow's done. I think he's called it a day. Everything's stacked up pretty much. We'll just leave this one here, and let's go and walk away. But we know that this will be here when we need to come back to it later. So that's the basis of that reading. In the past of this reading, look at this. this is, these are wonderful cards. Is the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is, again, uh, sunshine and rainbows. You know, just everything uh, that you want. All your trophies displayed. Everyone is completely uh, satisfied with the position that they're in, more, more so than just that. Okay? In the sky for this reading, if it could get any better, uh, is the King of Wands. And so the only thing that could make it better is that you know this fella is the guy who's pitching the tent. Okay? He's got to know what is the plan. When does this have to come down, and when is the next one going back up? And if I've got that under my belt, then I've got it made. I know exactly how to spend my time and what to do next. So, yeah, that's the uh, what you want to aim for. In this regard and then the likely outcome of this whole thing is the uh, eight of wands and the eight of wands is you know, lots of issues but you kind of notice that this guy he's throwing the stakes out these are the stakes that this fellow is going to use to pin down the tent so it's everybody really can work in harmony even though we've got a lot to cover so that's what we've got there to go ahead and finish out this Celtic cross it's good energy read for today so far uh, the self of the issue of uh, where are we in our journey on this day justice okay this could mean a couple of things it uh, it could mean that we're at a point where we can kind of look back at what we've done so far and say well i'm going to proclaim that this this is what's been done you know this is and this is where we're going to go or uh, it could actually involve actual justice on some um, some in some respect justice for this person is justice is blind and balancing truth and uh, and uh, knowledge uh, right uh, uh, on her nose up in the air and spindling around with these these cups of passion and compassion. Yeah, so that sounds like about what life is for me, with a wand of action. So, you know, everything is represented. All the, all the elements are represented in this card, except for pentacles. If you want to consider this the value of the person. So, the self of this reading is understanding your own justice. The um, environment that that's in is in the lovers. And so the lovers is the... Um, the highest higher arcana number six and so this is talking about really true you can believe in it okay you can believe in this partnership we're not clowning around okay so that's what that justice is in and then for the uh, hopes and the fears of this we have look com satisfaction completion wonderful and then for the final outcome i'll take it from right here We've got the Six of Cups, you know, remembering the way things were, and maybe that's the way we've created things to be right now. So it's been a lovely reading for this day, from this point forward for you, to you lay your uh, lovely little head down. Um, this is going to be a good day. Follow your heart. So that was a happy read uh, for uh, for us today. It started out with um, knowing that uh, this Ten of Pentacles is happy family. We've got everything we need, so let's let's understand that. But it's challenged by, you know, trying to balance uh, everything that we're trying to get accomplished and make sure no one's feelings gets hurt along the way. You started out the base of the reading with this Eight of Cups, which is, you know, you have to walk away from what's important sometimes just because you can come back to it later. And then in the past uh, was the uh, Ten of Cups, which again just reinforces that uh, Ten uh, of Coin, Happy Family, everything that you want is right there and it's how it has been. And the sky of that was the King of Wands, really, really being in charge of what's going on for you. And the likely outcome of the whole thing was uh, getting these uh, eight uh, of wands, getting this, all this action out and going and starting to uh, work in your uh, favor. But then the self of the whole thing for you is justice, involving all the elements of the tarot right here on one card. Very nice. And then the lovers uh, just tell us that we're going to find the partnerships that we have to to get this done. Even if it's a, if it's a book, that's the partnership. And uh, the hopes and the fears is that we complete the cycle uh, satisfactorily and start up again on another one. And then the Six of Cups tells us, yeah, and we can just look back and say things are exactly the way they should be. So that was a very nice reading. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it hit home for you. If it didn't, come back to it later or 
you know, it was something to do for 15 minutes. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.